I recognize that we are all bits and pieces of the same whole. We're all souls on a journey, trying to figure out what it is that we have come here to do, what place we will fill, and how to fill that place in the right way. Which is kind of how I came up with this idea of particle sustainability. What is that? First of all, I'm sure you've never heard the word particle before. I don't even know if it's a real word, but that's the thing. Like we are real people, we are real humans, and we have the opportunity to redefine ourselves and our experience of life in every moment that we live. The topic today, Memento, memento Mori, remember you are human. Wow. Because it's not very often that we remember that we are human. I mean, we exist in this body, in this world. But how often do you remember that you are human? What does it mean to even be human? Came up with three simple steps to accomplish particle sustainability, which I believe will be a guide towards empowering our greatest humanity, allowing us to occupy the pinnacle of ourselves the heights of our own existence. Once upon a time, we remember that we were all bits and pieces of the same earth, and all we had was each other. Heal more than you hurt, lest we forget that we are the keepers of humanity. Words sound power. In Jamaica, I'm from a culture called Rastafari, which is a movement of people trying to create a space outside of a post-colonial idea of how we should do things. And like I said, in Rastafari, we like to redefine words. Overstanding, for instance. You may know this word as understanding, but in Rastafari, we say overstanding. So you may hear me throughout the rest of the rest of the presentation use this word. I hope you understand. You understand? <laughs> nice. You see, there is power in our words. So be thoughtful of the reality that you create with your words. So heart to cut. There are four key words in this term. Heart, the central organ that makes you know that you are alive. Art. A creation made of pieces of the earth that reflect human stories. Earth, the source and protector of life, ever giving, and critical, a state of intent observation. Sustainability. I've broken this down into two words as well. Sustain, to live in the face of adversity, which is a constant state of living because there's always something adverse coming at us, whether it's a teacher who doesn't quite get you when you're trying to share a point in class, or it's a parent who doesn't want to give you the allowance so that you can get those brand new shoes. There's always some kind of adversity. Ability, the strength and focus it takes to execute a task. We're in high school now, and we're getting ready to set out into the world to make money. Today I urge you to remember you are human and you can't eat money. You can't sleep beside money. Money will not make you happy. You have to find a way to accomplish particle sustainability. Find a way to sustain the things that empower your heart to feel strong, that empower your mind to create openly and honestly. Particle sustainability. Find a way to make money, make change. 
find a way to make money make sense. Here are the three steps. Be artistic. Journey deep into yourself until you find what you're good at, until you find your calling. Be critical about your contributions to the world. Does humanity need this or does your ego? You see, ego is the greatest master of deception. And three, be love. Whatever inspires your heart creates true sustainability. And that's what the world needs. Maybe the world doesn't need to change. Maybe the world just needs individuals who are willing to make better decisions, more rooted. community because we are a part of a community whether it's the community here at school in Pickering the community that we live in in this in, in, in this country or the global community but I'm challenging you today again to look at that word community one more time and see what it really means come unity the calling together of unity the understanding outside of this definition of diversity. Come unity. Particle sustainability has brought me to this revelation. I've never quite figured out how to enjoy having money without having a purpose to invest it in. So I encourage you, invest your ideas, invest your money into your heart, into your art, into the earth, because it is critical for community. <coughs> Some people would say this world right now needs a revolution, and I fully agree. But at the center of every revolution is an evolution. And that begins with love, like literally. At the center of the word revolution is the word evolution. And that evolution literally begins with love. It's just from the inside out. So let's be more conscious about what it is and who it is that we are, what we can give, and how we can create small revolutions just by being present. Creating safe spaces so that humans can actually be. Haile Selassie, who is the emperor of Ethiopia, past emperor, he said something very prolific, and my grandfather repeated the words in a song. He said, until the philosophy which holds one race superior and another inferior, is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned. Everywhere will be war. He said, until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes, everywhere will be war. Today we look out into the world and there are so many wars that are happening. Food wars. Who gets to eat better is the ones who can afford it. Policies that separate us. Who lives better are the ones who can afford it. Wars against humanity that really have no reason. Coming right back to that idea of heart. If we are rooted in the principles of heart, art, earth, and seeing that as critical, then, then, then we will always make decisions that will be best for humanity. Not just to make money. So today is May the 11th. This TED talk was supposed to happen last year. On a different day. Today marks 35 years since my grandfather passed away. And since I knew the date of this TED Talk, 
there was just a little bit of anxiety because I didn't really know why the universe had aligned it that way. I still don't quite know, but I'm grateful because today I am able to use my voice in a way that can share this message still 35 years after the day where we remember that he was human. Bob Marley did so many great things for this world. And sometimes he seems a little bit superhuman, almost not real. But today, just like your theme, we remember that he was human. Still, he was able to do so many things for this world. Simply by, by deciding to do the right thing, always the right way. Because we are human, we're not.